Hello everybody, Jack Pittman here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the free open source audio tool Audacity. This tool can do literally anything you need to audio files. If you need to have really good background noise removal, you need to change the speed, do anything, this tool has a way to do it and it's totally free. It's a really great thing to learn how to use. It's something that helps you do more employable stuff with other people, right? So a lot of people don't realize how simple a lot of audio stuff is nowadays. So let's get to it. Whenever you work in Audacity, you gotta make sure that your input is set to the proper setting here. Because otherwise, you might try and record something, right? Like a microphone, but when you talk, nothing shows up. So first, always verify that you're using the microphone that you expect. Now you'll just record, and you can see that the audio is tracking what I'm saying right now. So we're gonna stop. We made this tiny little snippet, and if I played it, you could hear it. But what I wanna show you is some of the really useful features. So there's actually some background noise here. And if we go to effect at the top, after selecting an area that just has background noise, no words, then go to effect, and then you go to noise reduction. And from this point, you click get noise profile, and it gets the kind of background noise removal tailored to this clip. And then you select everything and do it again, except this time you can just click here, repeat noise reduction. And then that's going to do a really good job of getting rid of background noise problems. Because the background noise is tailored specifically to your sample, it works a lot better than most of the automatic options that are available in video editing tools and various other tools that you use. So it'll often be more effective for you to just take the audio out, put it through Audacity and do the stuff you need to and then work on it in the other tool. Now, if you want to export in Audacity, there's one other thing that you should know about. Sorry about that. Go to File, and then Export. And in the beginning, you won't be able to export it as an MP3. So you're gonna basically have to download the ability to do that in addition to Audacity. And it's free, you just have to go get it. Um, just Google MP3 Export Audacity, and you'll, you'll find it. And the reason for that is because Audacity doesn't like own the rights for it, so they can't include that ability in their tool. They just make it so that that part's not there and you just have to go get the package and add it yourself, okay? So that's all you'll need to do and then you'll be able to export your projects. There's a distinction, keep in mind, you can save a project, right? Like if I were to save this, let's see, right? As a demo, for example. This is like an Audacity project file. This is not an MP3, so you won't be able to open this in other programs. That's why what you need to do is export as the file type that you want, okay? And these are customizable. You can add more if you want to. That's pretty much everything. I hope you enjoyed this introduction to Audacity. I encourage you to use it. If you're interested in any kind of consultation, I offer consultations for 30 minutes for $20. I teach any kind of tech thing or web literacy or moving to Nicaragua, uh, any kind of online living. This is the stuff I specialize in. And if you want to get more of an introduction to that world, then reach out to me. You can go to calendly.com slash Jack Dermot Pittman using the link in the top of the description of this video at any point. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.